Hi everyone. I've been promising you a demo of the Medialux.com software that I've been using to send video over the internet. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't find anybody uh, in the last few days to uh, help me make this video, so I'm going to demo how it works using three computers in my home. Uh, you'll have to trust me uh, that it actually works as well over the internet as it does here. I've done some tests uh, all the way to Stockholm, Sweden, and uh, it works just as well from here to there as it does between my computers in my room here. So um, I put together a real piece of video spaghetti. You can see this big 4K screen is just covered with all kinds of weird video stuff. Uh, and I'm going to show you basically how it works. Uh, if you take a look up here at uh, these two windows, VT Publisher and VT Receiver, those are the two main pieces of software uh, that uh, do the video sending. So uh, what I've got set up here is three different computers, uh, a laptop and two desktops. Um, the one we're on is uh, called US San Mateo. Uh, then I've got one called Greg's Laptop and one called Redwood City. Uh, so what's happening is the, the picture you see of me in the upper right where I'm kind of looking into the camera right now, uh, that one's coming from a different computer than the one I'm recording here on. Uh, it's coming from US Redwood City. Uh, so that video is being sent from a VT publisher program to this VT receiver program on this computer and then up to this monitor program here that's showing you the video of me kind of looking to the side. Uh, then on also I have a laptop and that laptop's got a camera it's publishing that you can also see in VT receiver here. And uh, that's the camera that's giving sort of the side view of my, um, my messy desk here. Uh, and that one's also coming over the network to this computer. And then in, on this computer, I've also got VT Publisher publishing uh, a shot from a camera connected to this computer. Uh, there's nothing moving in that one. I'm sorry about that, but uh, there's only so much space in here that I can set things up. Uh, the, uh, but it shows that uh, I can send and receive video from three computers back and forth to all three. Uh, now, um, and then on the uh, uh, left here, you can see a web page, which is sort of the control room for this software. And what it lets you do is see all the different sources from all the computers that you've got connected. You can see all three of the ones I just mentioned here and the sources and syncs and where they're sending their their video and so forth. Uh, so all of that's up and running right now and live. Now what I'm going to do is close this all down and show you just how easy it is for you to turn it on and set it up. So I'm going to stop all these publishes right now and everything is going to pretty much come to a halt. You won't see any of the videos moving anymore. So you can see now on this feed over here everything is stopped. There's no videos or anything going. Um, and I'm going to start by publishing the camera on the com this computer that I'm on. And I'll do that just by clicking on the camera and going to VT Publisher and saying Publish. And you see we got a green light up here and in a moment we have it showing up as the source, available source from this computer. Now um, I could start up the feeds on the other computers by going to them and you know actually clicking buttons on the software they're running. But one of the nice things about this software is you can control the other all of the machines from this web panel here. So now I'm going to go over to uh, the US Redwood City computer and start up the camera that looks at me. So I'll publish it. And in a moment it'll appear as a source. Sometimes I get static here. I'm not really sure why, though the camera is actually running right now. Uh, so what I'm going to do is tell it to send itself to the computer that we're recording on right now. And in a moment you'll see it pop up. 
NVT receiver here. Takes a few uh, seconds to sync things up because it's using an error recovery protocol. And now you can see I'm being received in VT receiver and I'm back up on this panel where I was before. Uh, you can see the output going out of Redwood City and coming into San Mateo. And now I'm going to go to the laptop and I'm going to publish the webcam. And it appears. And I'm going to send the webcam to the computer here that I'm recording on. You can see it's a red light at the moment, but in a minute it'll turn green and we'll have a feed. And there we go. So now you can see me being received at VT Receiver and then also on this NDI monitor over here. So now we've got one feed from the laptop and one feed from the desktop coming into this desktop. And then I've got this desktop that I'm on now is feeding this camera view. Uh, and I will uh, send it somewhere just so you can see what it looks like here on this uh, routing display. Uh, why don't I send that to uh, the Redwood City computer. And in a moment you'll have video here and down here and there we go very simple very fast easy to set up uh, one of the nice things about this software is that um, you actually don't even have to install it. You just uh, unzip a zip file, uh, put a license file in there, and it's ready to go. Um, the other thing that's kind of nice is uh, you see these this VT Receive and VT Publisher software that I've, I've got running right now. Uh, that's for when you want to have a user interface. If you don't care about uh, having a user interface or you want a headless machine, they also have a server task that uh, just starts up on a, on a machine. You can do it from a batch file when the machine boots. And then you can control what that machine sends entirely from this uh, web administrator panel. Now, I, I think this is a pretty good setup. It's a, a bit of video spaghetti to show you that uh, it works. Um, like I said, it's very easy to install. It's worked well from me to Stockholm, Sweden, to uh, some cities in Washington and Ontario, as well as Los Angeles. And of course, I'm in San Mateo. So uh, over a distance, it works quite well. Um, I'm occasionally having little glitches on the feed that I'm sending from my laptop because the laptop I'm using is kind of old and wheezy and it really can't handle uh, H.264 or 265 compression very well. So, um, you know, forgive a few little glitches. When I've been running all the way to Stockholm, I rarely see any uh, because both computers on each end are fairly in fairly good shape. So what this does is it'll it'll publish uh, any hardware that it recognizes, such as an Azure or Blackmagic card that you see here. Uh, it also can publish your screen. So that's what these generic monitors are. If I click on one of those, it would actually publish uh, what was on that screen of my computer so that other people could see it. Uh, and it can publish any NDI source that you happen to have connected, such as, uh, say, uh, an iPhone with the NDI app on it, sending video over Wi-Fi, or any other kind of NDI-based camera that'll just automatically show up on uh, the list of feeds that you can see. So I hope this has uh, been a useful demo. Again, this is medialooks.com is their website. I'll put it in the comments so you can find it easily. And um, when you're all done uh, with your broadcast, you can just start shutting feeds down by hitting buttons and uh, everything will just close down. And when I was going to uh, Stockholm, I was uh, receiving up to 4K with an alpha channel. Uh, my machine has about a 300 megabit downlink from the internet and about a 10 megabit 
up. Um, I have noticed that uh, 10 megabits isn't really enough for really high quality video, um, but you can uh, you can still send at that at speeds lower than 10. Uh, if you may have noticed here in the VT Publisher, there's a bunch of different settings for uh, you know what bitrate you'd like to send at. And of course, since this is using NDI, you can put the new official NDI plugins into Unreal and use this to bring video feeds from pretty much anywhere in the world right into your uh, Unreal Virtual Production projects. Or you can send a feed from Unreal out to anywhere so that people can see what you're doing. Uh, it's very easy to send either the entire Unreal Editor window or just the video feed that you're currently compositing and making a virtual set with. And that's all. Hope you uh, found this useful.